This image is one of the most influential, outstanding and at the same time controversial and disputed scientific illustrations. This is the most widely reproduced copy of a diagram illustrating a biogenetic or recapitulation rule formulated by Ernst Haeckel. This image has been widely criticized for inaccuracy, so that Michael K. Richardson, professor of evolutionary developmental zoology in Leiden University, even said, it looks like it's turning out to be one of the most famous fakes in biology. But after careful analysis, he concluded that on a fundamental level, Haeckel was correct, therefore acknowledging the validity of the diagram. It illustrates a recapitulation concept that is usually formulated by scientists as ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny, which in human words means that each stage of an individual development, one that for humans lasts approximately nine months, corresponds to a respective specific stage of evolution, one that took hundreds of millions of years to get from single-celled organisms to human taxpayers. It is now accepted that evolution is conserved in living genomes, so that it fastly replays each time in the embryogenesis of each new organism. What is absent on Ernst Haeckel's diagram is the very beginning of our life and evolution, and that is a single cell stage. Yes, as you probably remember, we all begin as single cells, that are egg cells being fertilized by sperm cells. The two cells fuse, yes, cells sometimes do the opposite to cell division. Mothers and fathers' chromosomes finally meet each other and stick together from now on. After that, you are for a while a single cell already with a full genome that is now in any of about 30 trillion cells now watching this video as you. For some time, you and me were single cells, and those were our only moments of absolute wholeness. But this magic time does not last long. If we are conceived healthily in a healthy mother organism, very soon our chromosomes decondensate, visually dissolving, which they need to make the DNA replication possible. While invisible through optic microscopy, chromosomes are being copied. Then they condensate back by coiling and supercoiling and supercoiling multiple times to make them movable by cellular machinery. Simultaneously, nuclear membrane disintegrates into small bubbles of double membrane, ready to later be reassembled to recreate nucleuses in daughter cells. Consequentially, an egg cell undergoes the first cleavage division, giving place to the two first blastomeres, and from then we are doomed to live with a sense of duality, internal disagreement, spiritual split, until our very end. But I'd like to immediately remind you that most of us learn to manage this and there is no need to be upset by the fact. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.